You heard a black face? Well, here's white face. You're watching the most shocking and informative LRJ TV news. Hi, I'm wearing a bow tie, so why can you think I'm educated and a black Republican so you can listen to me? Thank you. We're white, and it must be right. Go back to Africa. Oh, hell no, whites. I am not going back to Africa, okay? Just because it's white don't mean it's right. Let me tell you something right now, okay? One, I'm African-American. My father is African-American. His father is African-American. His father was brought here from Africa. But if I'm going anywhere, it's where I'm from, America. You got that? And you got a problem about all this anyway? Let me tell you something, white folks. I know how y'all get down. You came and seen it. Ooh, this is a nice land here, Indians. <laughs> Ooh, this is nice. It's lovely. What is this grass? Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at those acreages. You want to come in? Sure. <laughs> yep, we got that land. We're white, and it must be right. Whites are the only ones that want to change the history to fit what they believe is going to be. Now, we don't want to tell our children that we stole from the Indians, okay? We raised it out of history. What else? Uh, oh, slavery. Mm -mm. Yeah, they should not know about slavery. Yeah. 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 Oh, I miss those days. I know. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, don't put that in there. Mm -mm. Uh, let's leave Dr. King in there and let's edit it out and say he died of a uh, black folk, did it? Super. Great. We're white. And it must be right. You whites enjoy hunting, don't you? I know you do. I know you do. And that's why every time you out in your house, you see a black person in your view, you want to just shoot them, don't you? I know you do. You racist bad. I'm not racist. But if I see a black person in my neighborhood, and I know I have all whites, I know they're stealing because they outside in a brown truck that got UPS on it. So I just shoot them. For the last two years, it's been open season. White folks been going crazy killing black folks. It's a small group of white individuals who surround themselves with larger groups of white individuals. I'm Rick Sutton. All black folks is on welfare. And the white folks in those groups don't have enough spine and enough heart to stand up and say, I'm not going to be a part of this. I am done with it. Um, I'm not racist. I just came for the reform and donuts. All whites isn't racist. In fact, the majority of whites can care less. But there's a small group of whites uh, who preach hate. And the other whites don't care to stand up for what is right. Preach on, black boy. Whites, I know and you know. You guys came up with the AIDS virus, didn't you? I know you did, you little bastards. <laughs> but you forgot something. Look at that black girl. Come over here and suck my pink. Ooh, look at that black boy. Got those muscles. I want his black thing all up in my... Now, I live in a mixed neighborhood with blacks and whites. And unfortunately, there's a store that most white folks like to shop at. Did you see any watermelon in there? Fried chicken? Any grape drink? Right now, I see you white people looking in my cart. Looking in my cart. Ooh, what has he got in there? Is he got some watermelon in there and some fried chicken in his cart? Oh my goodness. Black folks buy T-bone steaks and lettuce? Yes, we do. Get to get it right. Did you hear what happened? Jen lost her job. Oh no, yes yeah, she did. And she's now on that welfare with the black people. She's now poor trash. White folks even treat white people like crap. Have you ever heard of the phrase before, white trash? My auntie was telling me there was a white woman who was homeless and was begging for change. And her concern was getting a job and making herself look presentable for an interview because you know her eyebrows and her hair was all funky and everything. Did you know that white salons would not even help her, give her anything, a, a free hair wash, tape her eyebrows down? The Chinese folk, no, no, come here, we're class, we're class, no business for you, no, no. But a black salon washed her hair and cut her hair, she got her eyebrows and everything taken care of, and she got a job, but she was hired, and now she's a secretary. Obama ain't doing nothing to help people. I 
Master lost the master job at the chicken feed factory. I don't got no real education. Obama ain't doing nothing. I've been on unemployment for three years. <coughs> Hi, I'm a black preacher named Pastor Manning. Obama ain't nothing but a white man. Mm, no, he's black. What? I know how you be at work. Hey there, Toby. Great job, buddy. Hey, you want to go out and get some lunch with me, Toby? You do? Great. Super. See you lunch time, buddy. But when you leave work, what do you do? Bye, Toby. Oh, my God. I hate niggers. Seriously. Black folks, if they got a good white boss, and all of a sudden, hey, buddy. Come on in here, Toby. Have a seat, man. Uh, God, I tried. I tried to keep the job, man. I surely did. Uh, Man, it's just not going to work out here with us. Unfortunately, there's cutbacks. And, um, you know I'm your friend, huh? High five, that nigga. I mean, Toby. What, power? What? Let go of the hate. Don't hate black people. You know, Dr. King, he died. But he's still dead, right? He died. Trying to make sure that black folks have equal rights. In America, unfortunately, we're going farther and farther back into slavery. Did you guys hear? We got a black neighbor. We're moving. It's getting worse though. Wake up, America. Hey, Susan. I drove by our old neighborhood where the black folks moved in. It is so beautiful. Let's go and take their neighborhood back over. We're white. And it must be right. Love. Love people, despite of who they are. I can bleach my skin to be white as Michael Jackson. But unfortunately, when I have children, they will be black. You cannot change who you are. White people that want to be black want to all the hip hop clothes, and you have kids, they're gonna still be white. In case you were a black person, then child like Obama, then then you guys still call them niggas. So it, it's to the point what I'm trying to tell you, okay? Is love one another? Love one another. Let the hate go. I love my family, my children, my grandchildren. But I hate niggers. We're white, and it must be right.